Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I want to do a Wet n Wild First Impression Makeups that just came out not too long ago. Um, I picked out a few new products and some products I've been having but I'm just very excited to show you guys this Wet n Wild new products that just came out and just to see how they are, how they're tested, they're primitive, they're worth to buy. So if you guys want to see how um, how this look turns out, just keep on watching. First thing first, I am going to start off with my eyebrows. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's an eyebrow pencil and this one is ash brown. And it looks very nice, very retractable brown pencil. Um, the shape of it, it looks pretty weird, like a rectangle kind of shape. So it's very interesting to try. It also comes with the spoolie, which is really great for me. So very nice on that. So I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. So I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows with the spoolie. They normally start in the middle and then fill them in as I go. And then just keep on filling in. So it feels really nice. Um, And the color of it is a perfect match for my hair. Well, like for my eyebrows, so it's really good. And I thought it was going to be really difficult to work with this weird shape how it is with the brow pencil. But actually, it's fine by me. It worked really good. And yeah. So far, I like it. That I finish filling in my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild concealer, and this one's the shade Light Ooh Light Ivory. So, just like to shape it up a little and give that little nice definition on my eyebrows. And then next, I'm going to be using my Real Technique Detail. This one is like a definer detail brush. Just like to shape up the eye, eyebrow. And... Now, you don't have to add concealer. Um, but for me, it's like a habit. I just, I really like it. I like to shape up my eyebrows just to give that kind of like defined look. Now that my eyebrow's done, off the camera, I'm going to finish the other eyebrow. Next, I'm going to be adding concealer on my eyelid. Because I am going to apply eyeshadow. So I'm just going to set my eyelid. I did pick up this Wet n Wild Press Powder Photo Focus. In this one, I got the warm light shade. It looks a mess because obviously I dropped it and this is what happened. So I'm just going to set my eyelid and... Because I am going to use, um, I'm going to apply eyeshadows on my eyelids. So I just want to set that. Basically a ultimate brow mascara. And this one I got nothing but brunette. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Just to give that little texture. For the eyeshadow, I picked up two palettes because they were in the store. I was at Walgreens and they only had these two palettes in the store and I didn't feel like running to the other store. So I picked out this one. I, this one is not a basic peach palette. And this one has more like very bright colors. I really like how this palette looks like. And it just 
like how the colors are it's just very pretty um and i think these retails for $4.99 or $5.99 and then this one is the nude awaken this one's really nice colors as well colors are very beautiful i really like it um it's very like more nudey and you can do like a smoky eye with this but this is really pretty i having trouble opening this and i just want to show you the shades inside but yeah it's not gonna work out so yeah i'm gonna be using this palette right here which is not a basic peach palette i wish it had names that way i can show you guys i'm going to be taking my white and wild brush and i'm actually going to go with this transition shade which is this one right here it's more like a creamy toned look and just, just gonna apply it as my whole entire lid just to set it. Then next I'm going to be taking this other transition shade which is this one right here. And be careful, there, it takes a lot of product out, so just make sure you tap your brush. And this one, I'm just going to go as my transition shade. And... And just do like back and forth motions. So then next, I'm going to... Be taking this burnt orange right here I wish it had names that way I can tell you guys so I'm just gonna make up well it does have numbers but um, yeah I don't know it had numbers but oh well so I'm gonna be taking um, burnt orange which is this shade right here and I'm just gonna go like on my eyelid and then on top as I go, just keep going back and forth. Um, with a different brush, I'm going to be using my Real Technique. This one's Base Shadow. And I'm going to be taking this dark brown shade, which is this one right here. And this one, I'm just going to apply it in my outer corner. And just define that. And then I'm just gonna like shape it up. Um, just to give that kind of like smoky texture look. And then I'm just gonna go in the top. Keep going like just like halfway, like blended halfway. I feel like I want to take this blue shade right here. I just want to do something different, you know. I'm tired of keep doing like warm tones, smoky eyes. So I just want to change it up a little. So I think I'm gonna use this like kind of like aqua glitter eyeshadow. So before I use that, I am going to apply concealer in my inner corner, like right here. And with my brush, I'm just going to like blend the whole thing, basically like a cut crease. And just gonna go all the way in the top. Not all the way in the top, but I just want it to be like a half cut crease. And then now that I cut crease my eye with the eyeshadow with the same brush, I'm just going to use my Mario, but it's gonna spray my brush.
And I'm just going to be taking this shade right here, which is a more like aqua shimmer look. And then I'm just going to apply it in my inner corner. All the way where I ended my cut crease. Now that I applied the aqua blue shadow, I'm just going to go over back with this brown shade and I'm just going to define the harsh lines you can tell. So I just want to blend everything all together just to like... And then going back with the burnt orange in transition which is the bottom one right here I'm just gonna mix both together and I'm just gonna blend everything out just to like give that transition is more texture and I'm gonna be taking this gold shimmer which is this one right here and then this one I'm gonna add it in my inner corner And then I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. shadow brush and I'm going to be taking the same gold shade right here. And this one I'm going to add it in my eyebrow, brow bow, sorry, in my brow bow just to like define it. And then I'm going to be taking the shade right here and this one I'm just going to mix it with the gold shade. I do really recommend you guys to try check out their eyeshadow palettes because they're so cheap and plus they're very the quality of the eyeshadows are nice they're super amazing so please check out their eyeshadow palettes now we're gonna move on to foundation and the foundation I got is this mega cushion foundation SPF 15 and this one I got the shade light ivory and it's really cute how this looks, the packaging. Um, it does come with a mirror. I'm going to use my sponge and my brush. I'm going to try it both, see how that works. So you peel this off. And there you go. So I'm going to start off with the sponge. And I'm just going to spray my little Real Technique sponge. And just like to give them a little moist. And just gonna dab in the cushion and this is how much product it released so just gonna dab everywhere my face and I'm happy because it's the perfect shade I am so pale well not too pale but like you know so far, I like how it's looking. It's looking very, like, super shiny. <laughs> um, it, it is, like, medium coverage. Um, with the sponge, I feel like you have to, like, dig in for more um, product. Because I feel like this with the sponge, it kind of, like, sucks in the foundation. So, with the cushion... Either way, I like how it looks. Um, it's very shiny, very glowy. Um, it is a medium coverage. Um, you know, so I really like it. So with the brush, I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild brush and I'm just going to spray it. Um, I want my face to look even. So I'm going to be taking this product right here. And just gonna dab. I feel like with the brush, I'm not picking anything out. It's, I don't know, I'm not liking the brush. Maybe it's the brush, but. Yeah, I'm gonna 
use my beauty sponge instead. I feel like with the beauty sponge, even though I, I have to go back in, um, Yeah, I definitely like how the Beauty Blender blends out the foundation. It gives a glowy look. And I don't know, just I really like how it looks. For concealer, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Concealer. That's one I use to set my eyelids. And like I said, this one's the shade Light Ivory. I shouldn't have used the eyeshadow, the inner corner last, but oh well, things happen. Sometimes you don't think like me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna apply it on my nose, down the bridge, on my chin, right here and then on my forehead with the same beauty sponge i'm just gonna blend everything out and i'm just going to blend my forehead so a little tip, do not add any eyeshadow in your inner corner. Do that last. That was my biggest mistake. I was not thinking, so I apologize, guys. It was a big error right there, but oh well. To set my whole face and my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. And I'm just going to set my chin my nose for my under eye I really like this pressed powder it's really nice it next I'm going to be using my wet n wild um, dual ended contour stick this one I got the shade light to medium and so it comes with the light one and then a contour stick but I'm going to be using just a contour stick so I'm just gonna line it up right here I hope that's even and then I'm just going to apply it like on my forehead. And with the same beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend everything out. I messed that up. I'm just gonna blend my forehead. Um, I didn't put that much product on, but I really like how this contour stick is. It's very creamy and it's very easy to blend. Next, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild um, Contouring Palette, and this one I got the shade Dulce de Leche, and I've been having this, I just don't really use it that much, but you know, for this video, I was like, why not use it? So I'm going to be taking this shade right here, and I'm just going to apply it. apply 
apply it a little bit on my forehead just to like blend everything out. My jawline just like a little bit. So far I'm loving how this look is turning out guys. Next for blush I'm going to be using apricot in the middle and this one is so pretty. I've been loving this blush for like a very long time. I just like how it sits in my face. It's really like pretty. So I'm just gonna play it on my cheekbones because it needs some love. And I like it because it gives that kind of like shimmer which I love a lot. Okay, I'm going to be using this I got this in my Ipsy bag, um, but it's the Blom, and I'm going to use this as my highlighter. So, I can pronounce that name is very long. It's super long, guys, so I will not be able to pronounce that. So. so, I'm just going to apply it. my nose down the bridge cupid's bow my chin forehead like why not for eyeliner I'm going to be using my wet and wild skinny tip eyeliner I've been having this, but I've been loving it so much. So this is going to be hard. For mascara, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild mascara. I've been having this mascara, but it's been so good to me, and I really love this mascara so much. So I'm just gonna apply it. I am not gonna apply Falas Falsies because I'm still practicing, and yeah. So ignore this part. I screwed up really bad, but I'll fix it. Then next, I'm going to go back with my eyeshadow palette and I'm going to add Burnt Orange under my eye just to give that defined look. And I'm just going to add mascara on my bottom lashes just to give that kind of like defined look. So for lips, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild. This one is Nui Patootie shade. And I'm just gonna. add on little gloss I'm going to be using my innocence lip gloss this one is nude candy it's more like a nude pink color just to give the little shine to my lips using my Mario setting sp my spray just to set my whole entire face smells so bomb okay 
You know what I forgot to use, guys? I forgot to use my Wet n Wild primer. I forgot to use this. OMG, I am so sorry. I forgot this step, guys. But I did use my Drunk Elephant skincare products and I also used my um, Volgene Labs Restore and I add three drops on my face. So I think that kind of counts. Um, but I really do apologize. I forgot to add a face um, primer on my face. So don't forget that step. <laughs> Anyways, um, I really like how this look turned out and overall, I'm really happy with the products I purchased. They're super amazing. I really like it. The cushion foundation, I love it so much. It gives a really shiny look. It's very, it's medium coverage. Um, I mean, I just like how it looks in my face. It looks so nice. The shade is, was perfect and it just looks super amazing. With the eyeshadow palettes, it's worth to buy. Um, I do recommend you guys to purchase the palettes, the Mega Cushion Foundation. The only problem with this is you have the brush that I applied. Didn't like how that looked on me. With the sponge, I really like it because it gives more product in my skin, but it sucks in the sponge. So you have to keep digging in the product. So I, either way, I like it. The Wet n Wild Press Powder, I love it. The Contour Stick. Um, the Eyebrows, I really love this as well. And the brow, Mascara Brow Gel, I love it as well. I've been having. But these products, I've been loving. They're great. I have no complaint about it. And the price is really amazing. So I'm so happy that a product that I purchased money well spent and so i really hope you guys enjoy watching my video um i hope you guys enjoyed it and please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel that will mean the world to me so i'll see you guys next time bye guys